The most notable things Obama's done in his presidency, um, one of them happens to be probably the worst thing I've ever seen a president do, which is Obamacare, which is one of the worst healthcare systems I've ever, I think America's ever experienced. I do think he is a, I think he's a very relatable person. I think he's a good speaker, just like Bill Clinton was. I'm proud that he was the first African-American president, but at the end of his um, term and kind of during it, I find that ironic that race relations have been the worst in the past um, like 10, 15, 20 years. But he is very relatable and a good speaker, I'll give him that. President Obama's most noticeable accomplishments, from my perspective, uh, would be the reduction of nuclear arms between us and Russia. I thought that was important. I also appreciate the fact that we no longer torture as an official policy under his administration. His work to lessen race tensions, I think, was also important, whether he was successful or not. I think it's up for debate. Um, but those would be the best things about his presidency from my perspective. Well, I believe one of the most notable things about the Obama presidency is that what I would look for is his personal popularity. It's ironic that how he's so personally popular, and yet whenever he was not on the ticket, his ideas got shellacked. Uh, if you look at the midterm in 2010, one of the largest turnovers of House seats ever, 70 Republican seats took over. Uh, 2012, he's very popular, he wins the presidency. 2014, he loses the Senate. Uh, I think there are now 30 some states in the uh, country who are now under control of Republican governors. Um, so personally, he is very popular, but his ideas have not worked well for the, for, I guess, for the Democratic Party or... He took the powers of the president, as mentioned in the Constitution, and he greatly expanded them, I think. Um, and so that's a concern for me, whether it had been a Democratic president, a Republican president. What I'm looking forward to and anticipating in the Donald Trump administration, several things. Um, what I'm most excited for is deregulations when um, companies can have the freedom to do what they want without the government coming in and telling them exactly what to do. I think they have more room to expand and to um, experiment in order to create new products that the country itself wants. I'm looking forward to the complete repeal of Obamacare. I'm not looking forward to the taxing that will be um, afflicted on the businesses that are wanting to leave the country and then sell the products back in. I think that kind of goes against everything that he says as far as um, having a free market. If businesses need to, I mean, businesses, if they want to leave and then come back in and do business a smarter way, then let them do that. I think the most important thing to remember about Donald Trump when you an anticipate his presidency is that it, you have to remember he's a media personality first, even before he's a president. Secondly, he's now a politician. And although he's president, thanks to the system of checks and balances we have, you shouldn't be too worried if you're an anti-Trump person. At the same time, uh, my biggest hope will be the pro-life movement. You know, I'm concerned whether Republicans are really pro-life or not, right? Uh, last time we had the House and the Senate and the Congress, you know, not a lot was done in regards to the legality of protecting the unborn, which I think is unfortunate. So, you know, I hope he's sincere uh, in his newfound pro-life beliefs, and I hope he appoints Supreme Court judges that are pro-life and also uh, concerned with justice and the rest of the matters. And I hope he seeks to serve all unborn, born, old, elderly, immigrant. I think uh, it's up to Catholics to bring their faith and goodwill into the public sphere and influence that, um, those issues, immigration, pro-lifeness, right? Um, so that good happens. Well, I, I can tell you what I, I think, I hope happens, uh, but it hasn't happened since the 1920s. I'm, I'm hoping that he is going to pare back the federal government to the size uh, intended by the Founding Fathers. Um, I would love to get the federal government out of health care altogether, out of people's retirement altogether, out of education altogether. I guess one of the things that I hope would happen is that we are starting to pare down the activist federal government that we have created, you know, for for many decades over many different parties, both the federal, both the Republicans and the Democrats.